Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to plant an avocado from the pit. This was a little project that I'd started on a whim around the same time I started my pineapple, which is doing very well after three months. I've trimmed off some of the dead ends as they come up, but we're also getting a lot of new growth in the center and it's beginning to fan out. But today is on the avocados. This one is probably about five months old. It took a long time to get it to where we have a stem, but now that it's here, it's growing like you wouldn't believe. These leaves, all the leaves that you see here are less than a week old. This growth, the, this little bit of leaf, was still encased last night. It only opened up today. I keep this just in the windowsill, give it plenty of water. But we're going to move on to the pits. I've chosen the large pit for this vase and the small pit for this one simply because this one will need a little bit more support to keep it in a good spot and this vase tapers sharper than this one. So for this I use grill skewers. It's recommended by most people to use toothpicks but I don't have any. I, I tend to just floss and use dental picks so toothpicks aren't anything that I really need. But I do like to grill, so I use these. Really, it doesn't matter too much as long as what you use is organic. And by organic, I mean actually organic living material or material that was once living, not whatever bogus lies they feed you at the supermarket. So we're going to use three per pit. And we're going to trim them down. I know I'm overshooting here. Um, hold on. All right, we're back now. Next time, I won't cut them all three at once. I'll just cut them one at a time to keep them from cartoonishly bouncing around everywhere. The reason I want to do three at a time, we'll start with a small one or excuse me, not three at a time. The reason I want to start them off too long and then trim down is so that I can adequately get these placed in without having to re-gouge. Now you can see here in the pit where the two hemispheres join, and I'm gonna be very careful not to actually breach those hemispheres. I'm gonna place them roughly equidistant in a triangular shape but I don't want to pierce where that hemisphere is just in case I hit the embryo. It's a little uh, little tidbit I learned from when I was in school. A developing plant seedling is also an embryo. That's not just a term that refers to animal life. Alright, so we're going to trim, let's see, about the width of my thumb. And I did poke them a little high up on the pit, just so more of the pit will actually be down in the water. Okay, we're not quite there yet, but oh but we're approaching where we need to be. See, it doesn't fit in that one either. So we're going to trim just a tiny, tiny bit. Maybe about two and a half, maybe three millimeters. We're going to give her another go. Oh. We actually, I believe, nailed it there. I just uh, have clumsy fingers. You know what? 
suppliers do what I'm unable to. Come on now. We're so close. I think I might have poked too high on this side, so we're going to move this one down and hope I don't do any harm in that. Oh. There we go. Oh. There we go. All right. The reason I wanted to position it that way is when you're planting one of these or trying to root one of these pits, you want to identify your top and your bottom. Your bottom is going to be where the pit itself will connect to the avocado fruit. And from this is where the roots will come. The stem will grow from the top. So now that we've got that one in, we're gonna fill it with water. I use distilled bottled water for my plants, just to keep from harming them with chlorine. Some plants are very sensitive to it. And you want to fill it to where the pit is half submerged in water. And you want to keep it there. And I would also change the water out periodically because it does get a little bit cloudy and icky looking. Now don't expect this process to be fast by any means. The first time I tried this out... I was very close to throwing away my avocado pit because I'd had it in the water for two months and although there was progress where the bottom had cracked, the outer shell had mostly come off on its own, it didn't appear to be doing anything. In fact, the whole thing had turned a sickly brown something like this so I was getting ready to throw it away and when I picked it up I just happened to notice four tiny roots like little hairs poking out of the very bottom and once those roots came through it just started growing like mad every day you could chart new growth this one is gonna be a bit easier to poke and adjust because of its size but I am a tad worried though about if whether or not it's viable because I noticed that the the shell is already cracking along the top hemisphere and I don't know if that means anything whatsoever but it's something I'm not encountered with another avocado pit okay a little more trim but we'll uh, we'll check back in on these guys occasionally see how they go up oh, oh no Oh, phew. That was a lot easier than I expected. I thought it was going to be like one of those little little nail puzzles where you have to seemingly defy the laws of physics to get the nails apart. All right. Nope. Can't you tell I'm terrible at this part? No. Come on now. Acting up. Okay. Please be... Oh, come on. Alright. Okay. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but it is stable and I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully the surface tension of the water will help it stay in position. Oh, just a touch more. 
Glad we got three bottles here. Uh, the reason I say you want to use something organic like a toothpick or a wooden grill skewer is there will be moisture inside these pits that could cause metal to rust and plastic does rot and probably wouldn't do too well with these pits leaving them in direct sunlight. Sunlight has a way of bleaching and breaking down the structure of plastic. So just stick with the wooden Q-tips. Stick with wooden grill skewers or toothpicks. Keep them watered, change your water out. And we'll see how these do. Hopefully we'll have two more little trees soon. But thank you for joining me.